How have you, how have you been maintaining your mental health? Um, well, I like everybody, I'm having up and down days. I think that's fairly normal. Um, but I, what I like, you were talking about your dog before, Adam. What I like about having a dog is that even on the bad days, I still have to go out, I have to get exercise, I have to do, you know, get fresh air and stuff. But at the beginning of the lockdown, we did have a little problem with the dog. Uh, he had an upset tummy. And normally, obviously, in that situation, you just ring the vet and you take him in, but we couldn't. So we emailed the vet and the vet said, can you collect some samples, poo samples for us? And I said, yeah, of course, whatever you need, you know. And he said, um, you don't have to have a proper sample pot. You can just put them in like a Tupperware pot that you've sterilised. So obviously we had to try and find one that had a lid that fit because they're really hard to do. You know, we, we were racking them through the cupboards and we found one that had a lid that fit. And it had to fit really tight as well because I had to store this in the fridge for three days with dog shit in it. <laughs> So I we found one, and the best one that had a really sturdy lid had written on the top, chicken casserole for Sarah. So when it was in the fridge, it was genuinely terrifying that every time I would open it and think, oh, oh, no, oh, oh, no. And then the vet said, after three days, can you deliver it? Just, you know, you don't have to come when there's people here. Just put it on the doorstep, you know, when we've shut. So my husband and I went along when, when it was really late on the late night dog walk and we forgot that the gates would be closed and everything was all locked up. So we had to throw over a fence a tub with chicken casserole for Sarah full of three days of dog shit. I was worried that people might think it was a hair patch. <laughs> so that was the start of our lockdown. <laughs> She was lovely. She's lovely. She's she great. said, here's my card if you ever need a one-legged stripper. <laughs> have, have you got that card? <laughs> <laughs> what was great was watching Alex on the red carpet. This oh. girl went to me, um, oh, Alex, can you sign this for me? And then she went, actually, can you sign this? <laughs>